I'm I'm gonna hit it. What do you think? You ready to go? Let's do it. Yep. Okay. You think you're you think you're good? You think you're ready to go? I'm ready. I hit the button. Okay. <laughs> I hit the button. It's twelve o'clock. Um, yeah. You're probably gonna get some kind of tweet notification in a minute if you haven't. And uh, and I started the timer. Oh, yeah. So let's see how it. we're doing. There. You got Twitter. it. Okay. Good. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Hey. Good, you? <laughs> I'm awesome. I'm awesome. How are things in Canada? Uh, good. Cold. Okay. Although cool. Wait, it's really? One of those good times not to, it's, not to I'm, be I'm an either. American idiot, so I only do Fahrenheit. But if you tell me Celsius, I'll do my best. How cold is it? Today was around zero. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, 80, it's 80 Fahrenheit in Phoenix, uh, or it will be later yeah. this afternoon. It was yesterday. Um, the kids are playing in the yard. So I, so since people are actually watching this on the live stream, um, mainly I want to talk to you, Juan, but I'm going to admit to them that we cheated a little bit. So the ground rules were, um, <laughs> it's only people that I've never talked to before. And, right. and Juan and I had actually never talked more than 24 hours ago, but since we were, we were, uh, we were texting to set this thing up. Yesterday, um, your daughters and my daughters, we had like a FaceTime play date. Um, so that was fun. So Juan and I have basically never talked to each other, but um, but we each have two daughters and they've like toured each other around their bedrooms and stuff like that. So, yeah. um, so, so it's still each other that we haven't talked to each other. We cheated a little bit. And then when I said that that's the rule, that's kind of the only rule. Um, so Juan, Juan was like making this joke on Twitter yesterday that he, he's a guy who can't, uh, he can't uh, make it on che cheers to that. Right. Well, um, yours looks brown. Mine is well, anyway, my, mine is coffee flavored because it's I'm still, drinking, it's still I'm drinking early tequila. Here. I'm drinking tequila. <laughs> okay. I, I approve. I approve of this message. Um, yeah, yeah. so, so you got the kids at home. You're doing this weird. Are you teaching now? No, not right now. Well, okay. I'm finishing teaching, so it was the part in which they were doing presentations, so it was actually it's quite easy now. Okay. Um, trying to be more flexible because uh, students were asked to leave their residences, so yeah. I want to allow them more time. Yeah, Yeah, this is true. Um, this is A version of this is true at ASU, where I have the office that I'm no longer going to as of last week, um, and then Babson, um, where I'm teaching from remotely. I'm going to move there in the yeah. summer. Although the move is tricky, like we've been planning on going out and doing house hunting trips, but uh, but we're not we're not getting on the plane. We're not flying. Yeah, nothing right is now. happening right now. That's right, nothing I'm, is happening. I'm very strict on that. Yeah, I think that's that. the right. I think that's the right call. Um, so one thing, one thing. I mean, like I I saw I saw you on Twitter. We started to connect there a little while ago. Um, yeah, and there were like a few things that just. So one was just like you're one of these like super big hearted empathic guys who clearly was always sort of engaging in, <laughs> in the, the kindest and most thoughtful possible way with people, which was fun to see. Um, and then it looks like you have sort of a penchant for, for grilling giant chunks of meat that, that yeah. look worth getting on a plane for. But this is, it is worth it, but, but I'm going to take this opportunity to say it's all about the instrument. It, you can put like a chew in the in the green egg and it's gonna come out great. Okay. So it was just initial investment and then the more you cook, the the more in love you fall with the thing because really it does everything for you. Like you really you can do whatever and it's really You, you know, you. it's all about the instrument. It does everything for you. Sounds like the kind of thing that Scott Cunningham would put on a t shirt for the uh for, yeah. the, for, <laughs> the, for the for the five K next year. That so. is the right way. Um, that's, the right one. that's right. yeah, you're right. It's, it's all, it's all, you just, if you have the right instrument, it does, it does kind of all the work for you. It does everything for you. Um, so, but then the other, <laughs> the other thing I feel like, which was one of the things that we, we kind of had this, like, I don't know, connection about was, um, was around the time when Marty Weissman passed away. And, yeah. uh, and so people who are watching, but don't know. So, um, Juan is an environmental economist. Marty Weitzman's kind of was one of the fathers of that field, um, yeah. and passed away late last year. And so I, you know, people could find your tweet if they wanted, but, but, um, could you just kind of tell me like, what was, what was the story that you had with him? So I, I met him, uh, because of the thing that I do, which is a very small group of people that actually work on, on this area of climate change, which is geoengineering. And he was one of the, first, as always, he was mm -hmm. thinking, thinking ahead of the curve. 
So I met him, and, and at some point he sent me a, a, a link or a paper and said, hey, can you check on this? It's engineering. So obviously I, I dropped everything, and I was like, I need to get back to him. It was like the most important thing I have ever received. And since then, he started to, to like follow my, my career, I think, very, very kindly of him. Mm-hmm. And, um, and we started to chat more and more and, and ended up inviting me to, to Harvard to give a talk. And again, the thing is, um, just what I said on the tweet, but, it, but this is the part that, that really gets to me, is that uh, from my perspective, I'm always like this Colombian kid that just happened to, to meet people. Mm-hmm. And I'm always, like, I have, I think we'll do this, but we have this um, uh, imposter syndrome. So I'm always waiting for somebody to tell me like, hey, no, this is, this is, wasn't supposed to be you. And then he made it sound like, no, actually you are supposed to be here, you know, like it's fine. And, and yeah. I remember looking at him the first time and not even approaching him. And then he sat next to me for lunch and then he will introduce me as if I had done something. Mm-hmm. And and everybody around me was like, "Oh, I guess if Marty likes him, like, yeah, yeah. supposed to be that's awesome." Cool. I love, I love. I'm, I'm gonna cut you off a little because yeah. of the time, but I just like, I, I think, th- I think these kinds of stories, like, I, I love seeing and hearing them, and I think, I think that at least among kind of the Twitter yeah. icons, there's a strong recognition of the value and importance of these sort of like big name, you know, prestige institution people, um, casting a wide net, and a lot of, a lot of them do really well. Um, you know, I, I, I had a, this sort of slightly formative experience taking Marty Weitzman's class, his undergrad environmental econ class. Um, and I don't, I, it's only sort of in looking back in some ways that I realized how formative it was, but then I look at the other people, it was a small class and it's like, you know, it was me and Jesse Antilla Hughes, who's doing environmental econ at university of San Francisco and Emily Oster folks all know who Emily is. And, and so, you know, you kind of realize like there's these people who, who wind up uh, infecting the folks around them? Um, they're they're like a little bit yeah. contagious in terms of the effect they wind up having downstream on the profession. Yeah, and you know what is the other thing is when I ask all these people when I have the opportunity, what why do you think you're here? They always mention somebody. Yep. yep. You know, it, like the the kinder people that are approachable, which is the 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 most. Um, they always point to somebody, yep. you know, and, and I always find that that important and endearing is that uh, there is always somebody else. And, and it's good if you can be that person for someone, I think uh, that is kind of the, the goal. No? We're over time, but it was worth it. Cheers. I'm going to say a cheers and we're going to, ha- well, we, you and I don't have to hang up, but we're going to hang up the live stream. Bye, everybody.